it is my last day in Hokkaido and uh, it's raining which is I mean it's good that it didn't rain on one of the days when I was trying to go out and do something um, and I'm just on the bus now very quickly wanted to make a suggestion to you if you go on holiday this summer or ever um, is to make a scrapbook So this is how I do it. First, I take a, any blank notebook. This one is from Muji. And this one's quite nice because it's got a nice hard cover and the pages inside are quite nice and thick. Okay. And then everywhere that I go, I will try to take some bits and pieces from there. Um, especially like flyers, leaflets, things like that. So this is my ticket from when I went swimming. This is from when I went to see the flowers and I've got some flyers from the Bear Mountain. So um, the other thing I like to put in uh, my scrapbook are photos, but obviously it's easier to print out the photos when you get back home to Hong Kong. So, but I still want to do that. And the other thing is I sometimes forget, I mean, to do it straight away. You know, you've got to unpack and blah, blah, blah. So here's tip number two. Um, make a little, make a little record of uh, where you've been and what you've done okay so these are the days and what we did and then these are the pages and what I'm going to put on each page now again I know that sounds like work but it really helps because then you can print out the pictures that you want make sure that everything fits nicely and sort it all out I really really encourage you to do this because if you um, even like after six months, you'll look back and it'll be really good to remember what you've done. Um, you, it's also really good if you've got like some relatives coming over, like grandparents or something. Give them a scrapbook, talk about it. Old people like stuff like that, okay? And when you get older, you will look back on your scrapbooks and they will be a really wonderful uh, like way to look back at your memories. And compared to like writing a diary, it's a lot less effort. Um, the other thing that I like to do is to design the front page, um, color that in, and um, I also sometimes, if I've got space, then I'll draw some pictures um, on the pages as well. Um, it doesn't matter if the pictures are very good. The point is just to make a record of what you were thinking at the time and in a way how good your drawing was at that time as well. Another good tip is to um, at some point in your holiday make sure that you pick up a map of either the country or the state or the county or the big sort of area that you are uh, or the island for example. So for me I'm in Hokkaido in Japan which is an island and so I picked up a map of Hokkaido and that goes right in the first page of my scrapbook. Have a look. So on the last day, which is today, I uh, went to um, the hotel like tour guide staff and asked uh, the gentleman to tell me where the places are that I visited. This map is actually just in Japanese. And, uh, and he did, and I made a note of them on, directly on the map, which is quite a nice little way to remember where you've been. A good tip is to um, get yourself one of these, get yourself one of these zebra pens. Um, so this is a permanent marker. As it says, it writes on most surfaces. It's oil-based, okay, which is, means that it won't wash off when it's dry. Um, 
these are pretty cheap in Hong Kong, they're excellent, but only for writing on this kind of shiny, thick cardboard. So you can see that this has been quite good to write on this map. And uh, when you've written on it, it won't come off. Okay, so bring one of these bad boys with you when you go on holiday. That is a tip. So the next step is to, um, what I like to do is to put the various pictures and things that I have chosen um, according to my little plan, put them into the book. So um, as you can see, I've already stuck in the map. Um, this is the title page and I'm I found a little tiny history of Hokkaido right here, um, which I will um, stick on this first page. Now, here's a sort of tip for something not to do. Don't bring scissors on holiday, never. If you want to cut something out, you could probably ask to borrow some at the hotel. Don't bring your own, because you can get in big trouble. If you, if you forget to put them in your luggage, if you leave them in your hand luggage, you'll be in all kinds of trouble. So, just for now, I'm just gonna leave this in this page, ready uh, for when I get back, and I do have some scissors. Um, but other things, you can just fold. So I've got um, this, Kind of menu from my hotel, things that you can do, and uh, I think I will fold this, and I can stick this in straight away. So I'm going to stick it in uh, on uh, page two. Now, something that you can bring with you on holiday, I think, but check with your airline, is some glue, and I think you're also fine with some colouring pencils. So there is a certain amount that you can get done while you're here, and especially while you're doing something pretty boring, like traveling to the airport, which is where I am, I think, right now. Have a look at this. I'm at the airport now, just found somewhere called Toy Park. Let's see if they've got any games. Found a poop pen. Uno. Jenga. Chinese checkers. Hello. Well, I've got this one. Othello. Well, I've got this one too. Ooh. Maybe this is like an easier version of Japanese chess. Tempting. Weichi. YK. Go. Tempting. Shogi, Japanese chess. Also got this one. Hmm. Game Stadium. It's like Othello, not sure what that is. Chinese checkers, Japanese chess, three types. Go, Gomoku, and some others. Maybe. Dominoes. Teddy Memory. Yeah. Blockers. Ooh. These look nice.
looks like 3D um, noughts and crosses. 15 game. Shogi puzzle. Tangram. Game. Don fishing. Hokkaido playing cards. Lots of interesting stuff. I think I'm going to go with this. I think this is going to be my souvenir. <laughs> 